What is up YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly install your VPhone Gaga app without needing any resources, but just your phone. So in case you are new to the channel and you don't know what VPhone is, so it is basically a virtual machine like it says in the name for your Android device, but you can also look it up like a, an emulator for your PC, but also transfer it into like an Android phone. It is more accessible since this virtual machine, you can have it on your normal phone, all right? And what does it give it to you? It gives root access, exposed framework, so it basically gives you permission to work with Game Guardian with no problem, Lucky Patcher, etc. So it's just a jailbroken Android, but on your phone. Alright, so without chit chatting a lot, let's get straight into the tutorial. Alright, so first things first, you need to join our Discord, the link is down below in the description, and then you need to download the VPhone Kaga app. I know there are a lot of links in here, but you know, just use the first one, and for the last two ones, I'm gonna tell you and explain a little bit later when we use them. So for this one, you need to download, install the VPhone Gaga app, open it, allow all the permissions, but there is a catch. One permission request is actually not available to authorize. So just click on grant later. And then for this specific remove Android 12 process limits, you need to click on don't show these tips again and ignore and launch VPhone. Now, you'll need to delete the instance one. We don't need the Android 7.1. After that, you need to choose the Android 10 instance. Once you've created it, you need to click on confirm and then click on settings, which is right above. And then you need to click on root access. And for the root, you need to disable it. And for the next step, click on magisk and enable the magisk. Now, just simply enter your instance and wait until it loads up. After a couple of minutes, I know it takes a while, but it is worth it. You need to open MT Manager. It's already pre-installed, so don't worry. Once you're in, you need to click on Read and Agree. After that, you need to close the first warning message. Just click on Cancel, and then you need to go outside the story. So click on the three dots once, twice. Click on the three dots for the third time. Scroll all the way up, and then you need to click on Data. After that, click on App. And finally, delete these two specific folders, which is Beidou and I don't know whatever it's called. Just delete them, okay? Just delete them. They're just unnecessary, unused apps, okay? Click on the three dots. Once again, with the three dots, go to the system, go to the app. And after that, you'll need to delete the i.abk file. I don't know why, but just do it, okay? Now you'll need to close the instance, just go back, and then you'll need to click on shut down. It will ask you are you sure want to quit, so just click on yes. Then open your instance once again and open the browser, which is this app right here. If you're using this app for the first time, I highly recommend you to go to the general settings and actually set it up real quick. So for the setup, you'll need to choose your search engine to be google.com. And also for the home, I also recommend you to change it to a specific URL, which for me, it is google.com as well. So you can just restart your whole app and then you'll see that google.com is going to be in there. For the next step, you will need to download one specific app. Pretty simple, right? So go to your browser, type in root checker basic, or just root checker for Android and just download it. If you would like to install it directly through the browser, you need to allow the access to install it. So it's not a complicated. The app is successfully installed, click on open, and then you need to click on agree on the disclaimer, get started, this is just the basic stuff that it just basically throws into your face right when you're facing for the first time in the app. And then when I click on verify to check the root access, the super user request will pop up, click on grant forever, and then you'll see, congratulations, you have root access, we don't care about it, just close it, first of all, Let's actually go to the Google Play and show you what is the main problem, okay? So, log into your Google Play account, and then you will see that this whole app is lagging. Even if you're trying to install one specific app, even if you're trying to search it up, I'll try to search it up like in just two, and actually load it for so long, and actually if you click on install, you can just wait for like decades in order to install this app. So, in order to fix these problems, you'll need two files, alright? So, the first file 
is in the description you can just import it from the device but i'm going to show you in the video where it is located but before we're going to get into the modules we need first of all to install a root explorer mod apk okay install it from the browser pretty easy simple as that click on install go back to the matches and in this specific app i'll show you how you can actually install the modules all right you have to click on the modules click on install from storage and after that you'll need to click on allow click on ok grant a permission with the root explorer and then you'll need to choose the path which is the storage all right so now you will need two modules what are these modules files the first one is called safety in ethics 2.4.0 all right the link is down below in the description if you want to you can just go directly in that specific link download it and import it all right but in this video i'm gonna show you where i get this file just click on download on this specific file right here which contains the module and after that it's completely done it's not that complicated you should open magisk again go to the download go to the universal safety net fix 2.4.0 mod and then it will automatically install it for you. Simple as that, okay? It's not magic, okay? It's not magic, something like it's it's basic stuff, all right? So once it's completely done, maybe your screen will show you like the whole process being like you know registered, but for me it doesn't. I don't know why. But you can see in the module section that we have the universal safety fix. And for the next one, which is also located in the Discord, you can actually download it and import it, yada yada yada. And then you will need to install it again from the magist. But from this video, I'm gonna show you right the. But in this video, I'm gonna show you right the moment. But in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact steps that I've used to get through these files. Okay, so download the Atmos Dolby Razer Phone 2 Magic. <laughs> Bro, it's a too long name. Okay, download this icon file. Click on yes, allow. And then I go back to your magic and install the module. But unfortunately for this specific module, you have to wait for like five minutes. Okay, so just wait until it's completely done. And this is how it looks like. It is done. Okay, it is done. Two modules applied. Then go back. And for the final step, I would like you to recommend installing the Find My App List app. So this app is actually very useful in case you're using Game Guardian or some you know other apps which actually do have some problems when it comes to recognizing other apps I'm just trying to you know avoid some you know some little problems that you're encountering install this specific app right here and then it will come to the module enable the module for this app everything should be pretty fine okay everything should be pretty fine um there are some more apps actually which allows you to enable the sound effects to disable the lags but I don't know if you're using it for the for like performance and stuff. I'm not, I'm not really using it for the performance, so that's why I'm not choosing to do that in the video. All right. So once all these steps are done, right? Right. So once you've installed all the modules, you know all this stuff. Um, you'll need actually to close the V phone. Or should you want to quit? Click on confirm, and then you need to click on settings. And in the settings section, you need to enable the Google Service Framework, and then you need to set up now the GMC. Open the VPhone Gaga for the last time. Open your Google Play and once you're entering Google Play and then search up your game. And in a few seconds you'll see that all the network problems are done so you can actually download your game successfully and with a pretty much higher chance of safety. Alright? So hope this guide was helpful guys. In case you want to see more of this stuff, just don't forget to stay safe, join our Discord, and um yeah. Of course, if you do have some questions, just leave it up in the comment section. I will try to answer all of them because probably there are not going to be so many questions. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.